I'll show you the mushroom land real quick. Um, this is one of those areas I planted a single red mushroom under a tree so that I could grow more red mushrooms. Um, speaking of, we we actually need more red mushrooms, so I'll grab one from here. Um, mushrooms can grow in direct sunlight on this. This is mycelium. It'll creep right back over that spot in a moment, just like grass will grow over uh, dirt. All right, and keep your eyes open, gentlemen, for two brown for brown mushrooms. I need to I need to harvest two more brown mushrooms. Oh, there's some. Uh, mushrooms spawn in little areas. So this mushroom is here. It will spawn one more mushroom in a a three by three zone around it, up and down. As long as there isn't too many mushrooms near it. And I think that too many is, like, this area is too full. But, we've got a cow, so... There we go! Mushroom soup! Yay! Tasty and delicious A for breakfast and for snacking K. And zoom zoom, right up the mushroom mountain. So tall not as tall as the extreme mountain was. That. That was tall. And there'll be a screen cap of the extreme mountain. Um, first, things first. House is in that general direction over there. This is where the swamp comes around. Um, that is the river biome that is cutting through the swamp and next to the mushroom land biome. Over there is where we're having some terrain generation difficulties, which normally looks like ass on a regular uh, biome. And uh, for as much as I hate the mushroom biome, because it's just drab and ugly and boring looking, terrain generation errors actually look kind of cool on it. Um, it kind of fits with the kind of weird kookiness of the mushroom biome. Like, I don't I don't actually mind it. If they all had these, like, kooky terrain generation errors, uh, I'm just gonna make sure I don't see any surface uh, goodies here. Nope, okay. If they all had that kooky terrain generation errors, I might like the mushroom biome more, because it'd be, it'd be more varied. It's sort of this nauseating gray everywhere, and just, there's only so many ways mushrooms can generate that are giants that it just gets boring. Boring and drab and ugly. But this this kinda livens it up and makes it cool looking. It um it makes it worth my time to come look. Anyway. Do to do we're heading over to the jungles. Heading over to the jungles. Um one of those two caves I mentioned is over in this area somewhere. I marked it with a torch. Uh, here it is. I have not yet explored it, but as you can see, it gets very dark very quickly. Very... Damn it. I wasn't expecting that. Very dark very quickly. Doo -doo -doo. Back around this way. Dare mushroom, dare mushroom, um, mushroom, dare jungle, dare jungle. And uh, we see a terrain generation error with this mushroom. Um, I don't know why it did that, but it did. Damn it, fell off. Uh, these, these are these are climbable. Um, vines, if they're against a surface like this, can be climbed. So you could, like, build a little tree house up here. Yeah, make a little fort. Do a little dance. Climb back down. And that is that picturesque little 
uh, island that's not quite so picturesque now that it's much closer. Um, what else? Uh, right. Ooh. A chicken laid an egg. Grab that egg real quick. Eggs are useful for making more chickens. Cocoa beans. Um, I don't think they re spawn after, you know, you harvest one. But, uh, cocoa beans. Anyway, I came over here earlier. I was trying to make a video then and I wasn't getting any sound. Very useless. That's when I wasted a whole crap load of uh, raw fish trying to tame an ocelot. Absolute failure. Ocelot wanted nothing to do with it. Um, here's that other cave I found that I have not yet explored. I just marked it with a torch. So let's see if I can spot an ocelot. Just so we've got one on video. Before we head back. Um, problem with ocelots is they are not treated like other animals. They will despawn if you get too far away. However, they will also respawn. They aren't terribly common though, so... Like, I've been over this jungle like six or seven times, and I've only seen ocelots twice. Um, luckily I was... Pr there, there's one! He's over there. We're gonna sneak up on him, because if you get too close to an ocelot too quickly, they will sprint and run away. They're very timid and shy creatures. Yes, Rame, hello. Oh, I know you're not being petted at the moment. And ocelots can climb trees. Um, I don't know if they can climb... I, don't, I don't, haven't seen one do it, so I don't know how they climb trees, but... Um, yes. And they're small. They can fit into little tiny gaps. And, uh, no, I did not bring any raw fish this time. That is an ocelot. Let's run up on it and make it run away real quick. Run up on it, make it run away real quick. They will swim. Um, ocelots have no problem going into water. Where'd it go? Eh, he lost me. It's somewhere in there. Anyway, darkness is coming, so... Um, we're going to take the tour on the road here. Uh, the next video I make, if I make another one for this, will be just me heading off. Um, where did I spot that? What freaking direction did I head off in? There was a... I think it was off of this uh, edge over here. There was a... Uh, there he is. There's the ocelot. Um... The only useful thing with ocelots is creepers will not come near them. Creepers will actually move away from ocelots. The problem with ocelots, you know the doggies were sitting down and being well behaved and staying where I told them to? Ocelots don't do that. They will follow you. If you manage to lock them in a room for too long, and don't come back and feed them or give them attentions or let them out of the room to, to follow around behind you, they will eventually go rogue and uh, re-feral and run away. And uh, I've got a zombie somewhere near me. There he is. Ah, there it is. There's the island. Anyway, I was out here digging up some, you know, chopping down some trees to make the uh, second story with, and I came across this island. So I swam out to it. I threw a torch on it so it's more easily seen from the distance. And as I was swimming out to it, you might be able to see it. Um, it's kind of dark at the moment. I saw another island just past it. And I saw trees. And I saw snow. And I went, wee Taiga! I love taigas. Um, my preferences go swamp, taiga, desert for biomes to... Uh, build homes to live in and look at. And that's where I got the spruce. I got the birch from uh, the mountains. 
Is there no birch on, uh... I didn't find any birch and tigers. You can find birch and tigers. I just didn't find any birch and the tigers. All right, zombie, you want some? That's fine. But you're going to come up with me on ground here so that when I kick your ass, I can pick up your untasty flesh to turn into a potions. Come on. Ah, and you brought a spider with you. Come on, you, you you can come back up here. You can do it. Come on, one more. Come on, you can do it. You, you can do it, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. You've got to, like, handhold these zombies. Jeez. Anyway, we're heading back. Um, I may make a documentary exploration video of the Taiga Islands. The Taiga Islands here are actually kind of small. Like I said, they're... They're about the same size as the swamp area back in uh, our home. Um, it's the desert. And the mountains. And the swamp on the other side. It's like a huge continent. I mean, huge. I don't think I saw the other side of it. Sailed for days. And then I befriended a bunch of wolves. And they ate my boat. And they ate the next boat. And they ate the boat after that. And we're going to eat some stew. And, uh, anyway, that was pretty much all I was going to show you. Uh, so... Right, we're going to end the video here. I'm just going to make my way back to the house and, uh, save out.